Welcome to Fresh New Place. It's the shopping centre here in Grimsby and we're here to witness today probably one of the largest exhibitions that Grimsby or perhaps even Lincolnshire has ever seen. The exhibition is spread across three town centre venues and houses a collection of original and limited edition art pieces from artists such as Warhol, Banksy, Matisse and Picasso. The exhibition is called Out of the Dark and is hosted by Abbey Walk Gallery and it's a cultural event definitely not to be missed. Okay, so what is art? It's a question that's been debated for hundreds of years. From a creator's perspective, it's a conscious effort to capture beauty and human thought and imagination. From the viewer's perspective, people can identify with a mixture of human emotions, everything from joy, elation, euphoria, sorrow, anger, and even sometimes hate. wanted to try and cover a selection of art that we felt would appeal to a wider a wide audience and of course we've got the really big names like Banksy and Warhol, Picasso, Dali who are instantly recognisable but then there are people like um, Ronnie Wood who, is, who are exhibiting with us or Chris Rea who was chosen to exhibit in Grimsby for the first time. This is his first ever exhibition which is remarkable and then of course counterbalance that with our resident artists who've got their studios next to the galleries and you know their works right next door to Picasso or Andy Warhol or Damien Hirst or Tracy Emin. It's just a dream isn't it really? Romantics say that art awakens within us new ideas, new concepts, new ideologies and new possibilities. However, Individual interpretation of art can be very personal. I think they're quite staggered, is the initial feeling. And, and also as they walk into each of the exhibition spaces, we've got um, the small unit with the Dali and the Picasso prints and etchings and lithographs, and the um, big unit, which was previously Zabi Virgin Records, which has all the emerging artists and then equally Abbey Walk Gallery with the well-known names. Each one has a different feel to it and it gives you a different experience when you walk through the door and each one has its own wow factor. And you can see that on the faces of people that walk in, they, they, they walk through the door, take a moment and just you can see that excitement and the, and the faces lift and their eyes are, you know, just don't know where to travel. Absolutely overwhelmed. Uh, apart from the presentation being superb, some of the pictures that I've looked at already, when I've only just walked in, absolutely staggering. We've come from New Zealand, so um, actually to find this here in Grimsby in the middle of the shopping precinct was really quite amazing. And we've never seen so many um, Picassos and Salvador Dalis in one place. It's nice because we don't often get to see these kind of things, but then to have kind of local artists displayed with it, that's, that's a nice touch. Now, you know, please have done it. It's, it's, and it shows that it holds up. So you know, it's it's good. It's great that Grimsby has been um, sort of had the opportunity to to see a lot of famous work, um, like sort of Banksy and things like that. Well, something like this is really new to the area. It's really fresh, so we're bound to get excitement not only within the artistic community, who are obviously thrilled to see it here but uh, people just such as myself, family people, who can now bring my kids along and they get the opportunity to see pieces of work you wouldn't expect to find on your doorstep. 
Normally you'd have to go to one of the big Met galleries to see this quality of work, and here it is right on our doorstep. Fantastic. A tremendous amount of artists in the area who are passionate about their sort of own work and, and seeing quality art as well. And uh, let's, let's hope it continu continues afterwards. It's not just a one-off, yes. One other pleasing aspect of this particular art show is all three venues have people available to listen to questions and, where possible, provide answers to information related to each individual piece of art. So, out of the dark and into the light, this superb free public exhibition is art for the masses. Gillian Gibbon and I were in uh, Barcelona and we went into a gallery who had been recommended to me and uh, we asked to see some of the, the work and the curator of the gallery and the owner of the gallery said, fine, what would you like to see? And he walked into a room that was in the dark, this dark room, and he brought out a tapiers and then we suggested two, three, possibly four more artists, including Salvador Dali, um, uh, Giorgio Morandi, Pablo Picasso, and all this work was there in front of us, millions of pounds worth of work, but it had come out of the dark. And our excitement took us to a local uh, cafe where we sat down and we said, that shouldn't be in the dark, it, it should be in the light. So we enjoy art, we try to produce it, we collect art, and we admire those who create art. But what is it in us humans that makes us so drawn to art? Mixed in with the painted art are superb pieces of sculpture like this on exhibit today. And believe it or not, art plays an essential part in our everyday lives. Look into the past to the great ancient civilizations. We've got Egypt, Mesopotamia, Persia, India, China, Greece and Rome. And they all believed that creation of art was the best way to help us preserve our history, our origins, and our lineage. What a fabulous event, and I'd like to think that in the weeks, months and years ahead, people will always remember this exhibition with true reverence. And if we're committed to this historical event, we just might see a unique catalyst of an event starting that helped develop Grimsby as a vibrant cultural art destination, both for aspiring artists and tourists alike. Okay.